Welcome to the Story episode 18. This time we're going to discuss uh the Story episode 18 round 4. This time we're going to discuss point number 4 and point number 3. For point number 4 will be read by our partner there on okay. the other side of the room. So, sir? Number 4, we'll be yes. going to Metallica in Abu Dhabi, April 19, 2013, 6 yes. years ago. Mm. Performing in front of so many people puts a lot of pressure on an mm. artist as Metallica's Kirk Hammett discovered while strumming the subdued intro to mm. Nothing Else Matters or Nothing Else Matters. Mm. After hitting several bump notes, he stopped playing, stepped up to the microphone, and addressed the metal-loving audience. My hands are really sweaty, and <laughs> it's just really hard for me to play. So I'm going to do it one more time, okay? okay. The audience roared their approval, and he performed... The intro flawlessly the second time around. Okay, oh, okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see the incident. Okay, then. When Kirk Hammett. Wh who's Kirk Hammett? Mistake. The vocalist and guitarist, I think. Oh, the Kirk Hammett. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm not a fan of Metallica, actually. Ah. Oh. But I learned to play this melody <laughs> <laughs> when I was in SNE. Yeah, I, I heard this everywhere. Yeah. Like a legendary thing. Ting, 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 ting. Nothing else matters. Ah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it was accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He failed to play the melody. Maybe. Ah. Is it sweat influence your performance? Yeah, of course. Oh, if okay. your hands are, your fingers are wet, so it's difficult to play ah. the strings. It could get, get electrocuted too, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is one. Ah, so the second time, he succeeded maybe. Oh. During the intro. Live music is the <laughs> true test. Of their yeah. skill and yeah, uh, of course. performance, right? Because we will face anything we don't expect. I see. Yeah? yeah, on the stage, on the day of our performance. And the real professional performers know what to do when the incident comes. Okay. That's the that's make the difference between amateur and professional. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like Metallica took years to master a yeah. live performance. Of course. Not to mention if they have to... F Maybe face a natural disaster like a mm -hmm. typhoon. So, but <laughs> he knows what to do, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, he knows what to eh, yeah what to do to make the audience uh, not disappointed uh -huh. by the incident, mm -hmm. like Dev Grohl. Yeah, mm -hmm. he said something, and then uh, you too, mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. he said something. So it would be okay for the fans or the audience if there was an accident or incident. Mm. <laughs> the life is like uh, yeah. If they are new, they will be nervous, right? Don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't have experience like that. Ah. So they, <laughs> <laughs> the audience will be confused, right? What, yeah, what yeah. happens, yeah. right? But do, do you think pop band? I mean, rock band like this compared to pop band, like even like k-pop band. Ah, okay. okay. What what is the stress level? Do you, do you think according to your analysis, the stress <laughs> when they are uh, have Perform. to deal with live performance, okay. uh, when stress from stress received as a pop uh, as a rock band mm. or pop band, mm. are, are they as is rock band uh, have to deal with harder pressure compared to the k-pop? I think they are same. I mm. think yeah, they are same. They are performance. We cannot tell the difference between those genres. But because uh, the audience with the artist have, what's that, relation. So the audience uh, wants the best mm. from their idols, from uh, the, the performers. Mm. And the performers or the idols want the positive energy from the audience, mm. right? So I think this is like uh, mutual... Mutualism, symbiosis, sim mutualism. Symbiosis, mutualism, right? Mm, mm. So we can give and uh, take and give. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I think they 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 are not differences between K-pop singers, pop band, rock bands. They are all same. If mm. they are performing in front of their fans, mm. I think. And do yeah. you think the the use of drugs 
influence their performance <sighs> as a rock band and as 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 any any live performance? Do you think drug will help them boost it's only their a, performance? It's only a mindset, I think, because in Indonesia it happens. Yeah, because I heard when when I, when I heard the con- <laughs> I think ten years ago, I heard that without this boost, without these uh, drugs, they cannot perform as good as yeah, we expected. Yeah. It's it, it is, is it? it's like an energy, right, for them. When it, uh, it, it, it is, it is to boost their confidence actually. Not the energy. No, the confidence. What if you, you are drunk, crisis? if you are drunk, uh-huh. you are confident, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what happens to them. They But are actually they are not confident. As a singer, as a, apa, musicians, uh-huh. they are not like a master of ceremony or comedians uh, okay, who okay. are very confident. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Some of comedians also use this, right? <laughs> oh, like, like how how can they still use it? <laughs> I mean, uh, to be confident, they say that that they take or they consume the drugs to be confident. But oh, come on! I mean, uh, we are trained to be confident on the stage, right? Uh, But why do you have to consume that? Even uh, comedians. I, the comedian still has that issue. Uh, Local le- uh, urban legend, maybe? Is it like a gossip or true? No, no. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. B- even the stand-up comedians? Uh, I, I heard the story of Abdel. Abdel? Abdel? Abdel, uh, he, yeah, he Abdel suffered, uh, uh, consumes drug, drug abuse uh, well, yes. marijuana, right? Yes. Mm-mm. He suffered that uh, a long time ago Mm-mm. and then he has to struggle with different Mm-mm. kind of treatment to, yeah. su- to free from yeah, that yeah, yeah. abuse. Like rehabilitation. Mm. Yeah. But uh, that means the, the last one was from Bandung. Also, you drug users. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Arrested in Jakarta. But it's not improved their performance, or is it? I I don't know because as long as I watch them, they w- were funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as funny as other comedi- stand-up comedians. I see. Not yeah. beyond but your expectations. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think they, they they are still the same, mm-hmm. the quality. But I don't know, behind it, they use the uh, energy from drugs. Al- although, although they don't have judges, right? Mm, yeah, uh, maybe, actually. M- maybe I can understand if they you dr- use drugs because they have to face with the judges. Mm. But if they don't, Have judges to ju- mm. that judge only the audience uh, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, why they still keep do w- taking that? Yeah, drugs? I don't know. They, the the reason when they were arrested, they said that it was to be more confident mm. on the stage. But I don't believe it actually. They mean the claim to boost energy is uncorrect. To boost I energy. Think, yeah, as far as I experience, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, how many energy you lose when you perform in front of the audience? Is it you have to use all your energy and then exhaust it after that? Yeah, actually, yes. But if I like to do that, I don't think that it is tiring, right? Oh, if I you see. like, because it's our patient. Ah. If you do have to take another energy, mm. it means maybe. Uh, the first, uh. it's not our, your patient. Ma. The second, you are forced to do that, right? I see. Mm. To cover all that loss, mm. you have to mm. use to intake or to consume something from, from outside. outside. Ah. Yeah, because the energy, the real energy, is in our heart. So, so your energy is not spur from yourself. I mean, yeah. it's not grow from yeah. yourself. So you need. Yeah. External force. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> and <exactly>. addictive. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and it does not really work effectively, right? Mm, I think. Yeah, because the co- their quality of performing is not higher than others. <laughs> <laughs> so the result is still the same. Yeah, yeah. If their performance is the best Suddenly. in Indonesia. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's okay lah, yeah, <laughs> for you to use the drugs uh. because it can give you more uh. results. Yeah, 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 I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we continue with the talking. Number three. Okay, number three. Pink Nuremberg, July 15, 2010. Pink is renowned for her super energetic and gymnastic field live performances. The core of her 2010 tour consisted of her being whirl around. <laughs> 
kayak yeah, yeah. dangdut ya. Yeah. Well around the venue on cables, what for me? On cables lah. <laughs> like some sort of glamorously amazing musical pinata. Unfortunately, she was not properly sec- secured into her harness in Nuremberg and ended up being dragged off the stage and into the pit below. <laughs> oh my God. Clearly in pain and complaining that she couldn't feel anything in oh. her back. <laughs> Being was rushed to the hospital for X-rays. Luckily, she avoided any in- serious injuries. She just had a few bruises to Whoa. both her body and her ego. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know that Pink is very energetic, yeah. very energetic singer, uh-huh. uh, like Britney Spears. Ah, exactly. Yeah, but more than Britney Spears, I think. Mm. Yeah, you can see her mm. energetic performance uh-huh. on the stage. Moreover, it is live, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as a performer, when we do live performance, we want to give all of our best to audience. Uh, so, something that they never seen before. You know. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This so is this pink. Oh, yeah, this is pink. Okay. With her short hair, as usual. Ah. Uh-huh. And then what she is going to do? There's a harness over there. <laughs> oh my god. What's that? Oh. Huh? She she yeah, yeah. she was tight. Yeah, she was tight but it's not it's loose I think. But oh maybe I think I think It's like what? I don't know. What's the name of it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should be harness. Yeah. Uh, Oh, jatuh kan? Iya. Yeah. Before should, should she be, be unlock be the uh. tire, ya. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, this I, I think this is only the risk of having performance like this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was too late to unlock the uh. Uh, the tire, yeah. Yeah. Give me back my ticket money. <laughs> <laughs> Is there yeah. any experience like that when you see that? I have never seen um, as refund because uh, oh. your artist that you <laughs> disappoint me. Ah, uh, uh, have you ever experienced a uh, band or live performance that disappoint you and you want refund <laughs> <laughs> in your deepest mind, maybe? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, actually, we couldn't get the refund. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Uh, but as far as I remember, when I bought the ticket for the concert or live music performance, I have never failed to watch concert or artist performance. So, uh, if I was disappointed by uh, their performance, uh, overall, their performance was still good. Maybe only mm. as one song or one incident. Or two songs uh, mm. failed me, but um, I think overall I I could only judge them in over uh, all performance, not only one song or two songs. Mm. Mm. And about the what uh, people who usually uh, turn their phone, then camera on, and then mm. when they see live mm. performance, mm. what do you think about that? Do you record? Feel, uh, do you feel uh, annoyed? Do you feel? Annoyed? Yeah, I sometimes do that, right? <laughs> For an Instagram story, <laughs> not the whole the whole song, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 not the uh, whole of the songs. What, what about? But those people if lo- if the special song, I favorite that song, uh. I record uh, that whole one song full of song. Although it's not well recorded, uh, not as beautiful as you, ex- you see in the real life. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's uh, it will be unforgettable moment, I think. So mm. I have to record it, mm. like. Uh, last time when I went to the concert, uh, I watched Kahit. One of the performance was mm-hmm. Kahitna, and of course I favorited some of their songs. So when they played or they sang my favorite song, mm. I had to record it. Mm. Yeah. And this, you still watching it later time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never done that before because I'm, I'm I. I don't know. Yeah, I am a person who likes to keep memory. And you still rewind that memory? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Because yeah, like I still keep my ex-girlfriend photo, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. The things uh, from them, oh, yeah, okay, like yeah. wallet or T-shirt from them, I still keep them. Oh my! 
Bye. Letters, love letters. Oh I still my. keep yours. Hey, my ex girlfriends, <laughs> all of you out there, I still keep your things. Oh my. Your gift. God. Thank you very much. <laughs> Even the concert thing, yeah. Give that you receive from yeah. the concert, yeah. Something like that. The memory, yeah. Uh, because I think yeah, it will be a memorable thing, and mm. it will be expensive in the future. Mm. You know, if I still, if I still keep um, 90s toys or anything, ah. yeah. If we see it now, mm -hmm. it will bring back to. Our tell <laughs> something like that. Uh, so if I see the video again, oh my god, I was there. <laughs> something like that. But uh, you know, luckily never faced a riot in a uh, riot. Uh, yes. Never been. Uh, yeah, I have ever. And uh, I mean, I was the organizer. <laughs> <laughs> I was the leader of the co the story. committee, leader oh. of the organizer at the time, in my complex. Um, there would be a construction of mask. What is that? Mask, masjid. Oh, ah, yeah, pembangunan, that. construction uh, of mask. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then the young generation to uh, sign that event <clears throat> wanted to hold an event, oh. but because uh. they were young, they wanted to hold a music event. Okay. Band parade <laughs> <laughs> for the mass construction. As you oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh. Nah. At the time, it was the hype of a first seven fold. I see. Yeah. Uh. I had contacted the security from police, actually, uh. but not from military, from police. Uh. Yeah. I thought that it would be safe. Because be, uh, because it was free, and my complex was near the village, you know the villagers. Ah yeah yeah, yeah. Ah. They like to consume something before watching yeah. band. uh bands, uh, moreover, punk band or Ooh. rock band, and then the dirty boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> At the time I was. I was the leader of the organizer, and I was the leader of... I, I don't know. I was the MC, too. <sighs> when the personals of their rock band would perform, I could see some of the audience were fighting. <laughs> some of the audience were uh, dancing. We call it pogo, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Head ah, head pogo. Head. Yeah, ah. I don't know it, it in English. Ah. Uh, nah, I was and then I'm in a big stress. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't see the police at the time. <laughs> hey, where were the police? Ah. And when that band performed, actually the band consume um, beer too. Ah. So. <laughs> uh, they were drunk too, actually. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So at the time I was very worried, and it really happened. The fight was, uh, or it was getting better, uh, getting better, getting bigger. Ah! It was like a Mass big riot. riot, and oh my god, I almost cried at the time. Because they were punching each other, each other, each other. Yeah. Because before that, you know, uh, the incident of beside. In Braga, uh, I, I don't know. Nine was dead. <laughs> nah, uh, because of that, because of that incident, it. Uh, I think it was a year after the incident of beside. Beside I is a uh, pang, uh, not pang, yeah, hardcore something like that. Mm -hmm. Because they were performing in indoor. Ah, I see. So the audience was stepped Ow. by the other audience. When they were uh, going out of the venue, mm -mm. so nine had to pass away. Now, the organizer of B side was jailed, For and I, I I didn't want to be <laughs> jailed, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was shocked at the time. And then how many ex victims <sighs> took? Oh uh, no, the, the, there was no victim. So the what's that? 
security division from my organizer had to catch the the yeah those the fighters lah yeah. ya ah. those fighters the audience and actually the police finally came up <laughs> <laughs> and then i had to stop the band when they that. are drunk too yeah oh my god they yeah. were they were drinking at the backstage <laughs> Oh my god. So all of that is also it, it was in 2007. I just never repeat it again. Yeah, I I don't <laughs> know. There's no way you can, you can control that, right? Yeah. Okay. And it was a sh- it I think it is always shocking time for the organizer if rights happen in front of the stage because organizer will be blamed. Ah, exactly. That, right? Luckily, no one's dead. Yeah. Lucky number one. And lucky number two, it will never be repeated again. But, <laughs> Thank the yeah. but we don't know, right? I, I mean, one of the audience or one of the uh, fighter brought weapon. Ah, it could be. Yeah, we don't know. But mm. we, we, we said it was free. I mean, um, they could bring anything. No, no. Check up? No. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> it was free. It, it was like um, a Gususan event. I so see. everyone could watch the performance actually yeah it's so dark it's, yeah actually it's, it's it was a charity <laughs> for a mass <laughs> for a mass right <laughs> but some of the bands were drunk oh. <laughs> there's a beautiful mass <laughs> yeah <Yep, the best laughs> and the mass is now named al haq the truth <laughs> the tr- yeah because it is the truth that's the truth of humanity <laughs> human is an asshole <laughs> The younger they are, the more asshole they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a good, uh, that's a right name for the the, the most, the truth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then we'll close our Instagram story episode 18 with uh, episode with uh, round number five soon. You're gonna find Ed Sharon from London in London and Paul again, again, yeah. again soon. Paul McCartney again. Hope you guys uh, enjoy our uh, conversation and this uh, Instagram story episode 18. See you again soon. Goodbye. Bye bye.